Uh, first order of business is um, I am not going to be able to make the meeting next week, or if I do, I'm going to be on a train or something. So, uh, Sean, you had, I think, tentatively agreed to facilitate that one. Okay. I, said, I think I said I could do it if no one else wanted to, and Matt put me down. So, yes. <laughs> I did. <clears throat> okay. That's how that worked. Uh huh. That's a pretty smart guy. Okay. Where where is speaking of Matt? He's not around this week, so yeah, and he said he wouldn't be able to be on this call for okay. this week. So Because um, he was uh trying to track down some of the metrics release people. And I saw that there was some some stuff. I know. Hey, George, can you mute? Because your fingers are kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry, George right. has powerful Sorry. fingers. <laughs> He's like a velociraptor of chaos. It's like Dawn, Dawn doesn't need the percussion beat. She's like <laughs> 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 All right. Um, Okay, I'm I'm hopelessly unprepared for this because I've been in meetings all day, and so I'm just uh, uh, so we decided we're going to talk about the metrics release, and we decided that this was kind of a working meeting um, to figure out what we could release. So that's where we were last time, and then Matt followed up with a couple of people on um, some areas that we wanted to focus on, which are basically our three focus areas. Um, what I see in the thread is that John um, Mertek got back and will be looking at at some of it. So he was he was looking at uh, geography, if I remember correctly. Um, but he said he would get back to us in like a, a week or something, or block some time this week to work on it. So so let's assume he's going to do that, and maybe we decide to focus in this meeting on either a couple of organizational affiliation or a couple of responsiveness metrics. Does anybody have a preference for where to where we want to start? I think we should pick one metric from each and get one metric done. That sounds, seems reasonable to me. Um, do we want to start with the organizational affiliation? Um, Brian, I don't know, do you have a um, a favorite metric or one that we think is going to be pretty easy, straightforward to define so that we can include it in the release? I can't find um, the doc for that. Oh, it's probably in the, there's an re issue in the repo, right? Yeah, I think so. Let me get there. Do you have a pull request currently? That I'm going to post the link here in the minutes. It's pull request 14. It is based on the Google Doc from issue number four and introduces the metrics and questions that we had developed a couple of weeks ago. Um, to put them into our repository. So that is the starting place, I think, for today to choose from this list one metric that we can create a template for and then start filling in the template. OK, that sounds great. Um, did you want me to just go ahead and merge that pull request? Because that all looks good yeah. to me. I submitted a review just to follow our process. It looks good. Okay, cool. I'll just go ahead and merge it then. Okay, where are we? Can somebody drop a link somewhere? Yeah, I mean, the pull request I haven't, even, are I haven't you in, seen this yet. Hang on. I'm, are you in the minutes? In the um, Google Doc? I was, but. Yeah. Here's the re I just posted a link to the repo, Brian. Thank you. Here, I can also, maybe it'll be easier if I just share my screen. I'm assuming someone else is taking notes. Let's see. Try to use my raptor velocity typing skills. Velociraptor, if you're, if you're all. 
Velociraptor. Do you, what, what do you see on my screen? I see the repo. Okay, good. Because it dropped me into another desktop and I was like, am I sharing Twitter? What am I sharing? Okay, so you can see this. So, yeah. the, so this, is, this, is what was, this is what was changed. That out of the way. And if you're okay with that, I'll go ahead and uh, merge it. Because basically, I think, Georg, what you did was took that big, long Word doc. I think we summarized some things into categories. And then I think you pulled those together with the questions that we brainstormed in a recent meeting. That is correct, yes. Okay. Okay. Does this seem reasonable to you, Brian, since yeah. you've been doing most of the work on it? I, I'm sorry. I just wasn't – I wanted to be sure that I'd actually seen this, and I have. Okay, good. We were talking about the same thing. Okay, and I good. I apologize for not being quite with you guys as a group. <laughs> no, no worries. Helps here. Yeah. yeah, it does. Okay, so we've got, we've got that merged. So I'm going to actually just go back to the repo so that we can look at the, the page itself. Um, okay. So is there one of these that seems pretty straightforward to define the metric? Like some of them are really complex and probably not good places to start, like organizational relationships, for example. Job changes, that's also probably a little, a little more meaty. Maybe organizational diversity? Sounds easy. Or leadership yeah. organization? Leadership distribution? I mean, organizational diversity is pretty straightforward. I mean, where are you at now? It, I mean, it changes over time, but that's a fairly straightforward mm -hmm. uh, metric. Okay, let's let's start with that one. So I'm going to put that right here. Organizational T. I'm not spelling well at all today. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, and then let's mark that. Um, blue means nothing. Yes, yet, but we want it for the release. Okay. I think I picked a different blue, but you get the point. Okay, so, and then for responsiveness, where's the best place to start with that? Do we have, is that, that was probably in the issue, wasn't it? Yeah, it's number 13. So I, I was, the first one, there. I was reviewing yeah. this, and probably the two easy things to have is like the uh, time to close and time to first response whatever it is, if we are talking about code review or issues or anything else. So mm -hmm. We can go for both. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so you said, sorry, you said time to first response yeah, and... and the, the first one and the last one. Oh, and time to merge. Yeah, yeah. okay, Instead I see of time now. to merge, I would go for time to close. So then we can go for issues or include issues. Okay. Time to close. Time to first yeah. response. Okay. <laughs> Different blue. I just I can't I can't pick a color apparently. <laughs> color is hard. Matt has Try some kind of standard color scheme, so you better follow it or else you'll be in trouble. <laughs> Well, I figure I'll pick something mm -hmm. random, and then usually what happens is Georg just fixes it later. Yeah. I can pick. It's in the top row. I always use the color from the top row. Oh. The, the most opaque one. I forget. Yeah, I forget how to. Oh, I see. Uh, that one. Is it that one? Nope, it's the other one. Oh, good golly. Okay, that one. Woo! <laughs> okay. Um, so which one, which one do we want to start on? Do we want to start on 
organizational diversity or do we want to start on one of the responsiveness metrics? Which one is easier? Let's, all right, I'm going to say that we should start with organizational diversity because I think that might be more important. Well, it might be. yes, and I don't know if easier is the word, but I know we've got a little bit of a head start on it. Yeah. Um, with work that we've been doing. Cool. Um, so how do we want to define this particular metric? Do we want to create a... A separate issue? Do we want to create a document? Have we created documents for these already? Does no, we remember not, where we are? I can create them. Okay. Um, the question I have right now for the group is when we go to the templates in our repository, I think we have two templates, one from evolution working group and one from the DNI working group. And which one? There is one want? that says common template.md. That is from the evolution, right? Uh, uh, yes. It's based, it's kind of an integration of a couple things they had there. Um, I th yeah. It's, one it's, has the metadata below it, or the sort of description of what each heading is. So it's okay. kind of intended to guide. But it is definitely more based on the evolution one. Yes, for sure. And then there's this one. Whoops, nope. Uh, this one, which is based more on the diversity and inclusion one. So the question is, and maybe Brian, you can help us figure this out. So the the. Uh, diversity and inclusion template was designed because um, because those tend to be complex topics that don't have a single measurement associated with them, and there are loads of ways to possibly measure them, including things like surveys and counting people at events and all kinds of different things. So this, this particular one seemed um, a bit better for us. Right. Um, but this one, this one is probably better for for some things like definitely the responsiveness metrics are probably better in this format because we probably have known implementations and sample implementations and things like that and those are a little more straightforward because it's you know time to close is a very like uh, definitive thing yeah do we have to pick like one or the other or could we blend these a little bit because like something like this first metric like for organizational affiliation, this one could be fairly straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, we can definitely we can definitely blend them. I would I would guess which uh, which template do we want to start with, and we can probably, include elements. Probably diversity and inclusion. Okay. And then if we figure out their elements of the other one, we can pull them in, or we can make up some new ones of our own, but. It feels like, as a general rule, it's going to be more, the DNI template's going to help us better. Mm -hmm. Maybe not with this particular metric, but the rest of them, it definitely will. Okay. It'll get fuzzy really fast. Like, I was looking ahead and I, you know, like, what is a volunteer? What is a, you know, what is a paid, you know, not volunteer? You know, that's going to be hard. Yeah, and there's always there's always going to be some room for interpretation, and we need to address that in the definitions. Sure. Okay, so Georg, you said you were going to create a doc based on the... Yep, I'm getting the shareable link right now so that we can all edit it. Perfect. I'm posting it in the chat now, and also in the uh, minutes. Okay, I'm going to grab it from the minutes. Yep. And then I mute myself again. Okay. So we have the focus area.
So we have the question defined. And do you have, um, Brian, you said you guys had kind of a kind of a first start at some of this. Can we, do you have some stuff you can sort of copy and paste in around uh, description or objectives or should um, we, should we just start kind of brainstorming? Let me, let me pull up what I have and I'll share it with the group or reshare it because I'm pretty sure we've done this. Um, okay. Give me one sec. Okay, why don't you drop the link in the agenda and I can pull it up in my, or in chat, that's fine. Is that? I'm looking for specific documentation we have in Limar Lab for this definition, so, uh -huh. but looking for this. Just a second. Okay. So it looks like, Brian, I've got the doc up now. That's it. I just found it. I, I'll try to get the link into the um, meetings. Is it this doc, the one I'm sharing? Yeah, that's okay. it. Cool. Oh, it's already there. Never mind. I think Eric did it. Yeah. Sorry, Brian. That's fine. I'm old and slow. <laughs> that's how I feel every day. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm almost 50. I All right. found this, so I'm adding this to the, uh, to the chat. So there are some definitions there that might be useful. So. Mm -hmm. And then there is some kind of implementation for the definition we were using in this case. Yeah. So here's, here's a question. Is organizational diversity a, um, a metric in and of itself, or is it a collection of metrics? It could be. I mean, the whole thing, I mean, you can, part of the problem here is like you could say organizational diversity and organizational affiliation are basically synonymous with each other. So at mm -hmm. that level, you do get into the collection standpoint. Uh, you know, the things that Toby and I were talking about were, you know, at some point there have to be, you know, what I keep calling atomic metrics. Mm -hmm. So I think that we're just going to have to pick one and say, like, organizational diversity is the atomic metric, right? And that will be the one, the one thing that we're going to measure. So you look at a group of people, where, where are they, you know, who's, what's their organizational um, tag, so to speak. Yeah. And with, with due respect to bring some more context with other, from other people. Um, so we were working with OpenStack and they were producing their own panels for what they define as organizational diversity. So you can have a look at this. Um, this other dashboard. So basically, the entry panel. If you go to the to down to this, there are three well, three, four, five widgets that might might be useful here. That says, corporate diversity evolution, proposed changes, corporate diversity evolution in terms of the issue creation, and in terms of mainly this activity. So that's some more some more context to bring here. And this was done by other third parties. I mean, using uh, Grimoire Lab, but produced by them. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you go, hang on a second, guys? I got a, I got some things happening in my house. I'll be right back in five minutes. Sorry. Okay. So in, in terms of what we are defining by organizational diversity is, well, in, in the first panel that I served was like we have a number. So the KPI would be like the number and then we can have this over, over time and uh, 
across the different data sources. Then if you go, for instance, for the Kata containers or Starlink X, they were, in, instead of having all of this information aggregated as we were doing, they prefer to have this by how organizations were contributing to each of the mm -hmm. uh, different data sources, which is a bit different. And then in both cases, I see that uh, we are trying to measure quantity in terms of percentage of, uh, not just the, the number, but how much they are contributing to. Jeez. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I'm bringing a lot of noise here, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm, what I'm realizing is that um, this one is complex enough that I think it's going to be hard to brainstorm as a group. Um, I have a hard time doing stuff like this as a group. It's always easier for me to sit down and think about things that are complex and, and then formulate thoughts. Other people might be better at it. I'm just not sure how we proceed with this particular with this particular one right now? I would say if we, if we go to the simplest approach, my perception is number of active organizations might be used as a good KPI. And then we can have this for a certain period of time, for a time frame, or over time. Mm -hmm. Simply go for this. But I don't know if it makes sense to you. I think that I don't have a lot of experience with how to define these concrete number metrics. Maybe Sean has some ideas from the evolution for the group since I think you've done more of those kinds of metrics. Yeah, that's a good point, Sean. What are your thoughts on this? I, I think we've generally erred towards providing descriptive metrics, so not providing anything other than percentage, you know, like so percentages. Um, if I'm looking for organizational affiliation and organizational diversity, probably the way we would handle it is to say that we want to understand how many total organizations are contributing to a project and a larger N is better. And I think that we, it would generally be keeping those discrete metric, like that would be a discrete metric. And then another discrete metric might be something along the lines of Look, what might include looking at the number of individuals affiliated with each organization. So, you know, how much of the contribution comes from different organizations. So you could have 10 organizations, but two really doing 90% of the work. Um, and so organizational, the other thing I would say about organizational diversity is you're sort of getting into elephant factor, which is a, a metric of organizational diversity, basically. You know, how many organizations have to give up on the project for it to die. Um, I think we're calling that a separate metric. Right, right. Um, then that's why I'm saying like organizational diversity is, you know, the general tendency for these kinds of quantitative metrics is, has been an evolution anyway to keep them kind of value neutral. And then mm -hmm. um, where appropriate providing parameters. So um, one filter or parameter that we might consider uh, describing on this metric would be the time period that you're looking at. So you may be most interested in diversity over the past two years, or you may be interested in diversity for a different purpose over the life of a project. And those are two different things. Yeah, this, this whole combination thing, this is what we, um, Toby and I ran into during our discussions. It's like, nothing really stands alone. Okay, so you, okay, so you know, okay, how many organizations are in this project, you know, but then, then you have to figure out, well, how are you measuring? Are you measuring the number of contributions and the number of people? Hmm. You because know, both of those things are completely different. Mm -hmm. yeah. 50 people just standing around, you know, looking pretty, 
and then two people in another organization will, you know, doing all the work. Yeah. So then this would be part of the parameters that uh, Sean was mentioning, like the time frame and perhaps the, uh, the filter we are applying if this is by contributions or people or any other one. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So here's my, my question for you, Brian. Um, do you have some, so we're meeting again next week. Do you have some time to devote to this document to, to clean it up a bit and maybe fill out some of the sections that we don't get to? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking that that definitely should have done that and I apologize for really not doing that today. Um, yeah. I want to get that done. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you the action item. Action item. Action um, item. Action. Let's see. I'm going to... may not have to because it looks like George is, Georg is just filling in. <laughs> With his velociraptor I'm fingers. Just, I'm just uh, dumping ideas down as a point of discussion. No, keep going. It's fine. <laughs> not stupid. <laughs> I'm adding at the very end some resources like the links we had. And yeah, good. thank you. Yeah, perfect. Sincere, sincerely, everybody. Oh, and I don't have the link to the document you presented before, Don, uh, with the organizational diversity, with some tables and so on. Do you have this around so we can share this? Was, was, it, was it this one? Mm, no, it was a Google Doc. This one? Yeah, yeah this one. I just slapped it in the minutes. Oh, okay. I just slapped it in the chat too, Daniel. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um, because what I was thinking was we can make some progress on the organizational diversity doc here, but that we should also maybe um, also try to make some progress on the, the other two, the responsiveness ones. Plus one. And forgive the dumb question. The release date is June twentieth or July twentieth. June for the preliminary release. Right. Okay. Yeah, June is for the what we're calling feature freeze. So we should have links to all of the metrics that we're going to put in the in the release. Because I and I think part of that was because I think some of the um, governing board members wanted to take a look and have some time to provide feedback. So we'll still be able to change the metrics after feature freeze. We'll right. still be able to make, you know, incorporate feedback or fix bugs or, or whatever. Okay. But we won't be able to add new metrics after feature freeze. That's how I understood it as well. Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about the responsiveness metrics. Sorry, it's gotten really loud around me all of a sudden. I'm not sure what's going on. No um, where were the responsiveness metrics? In the issue in GitHub. In the issue on GitHub, okay. So time to merge, time to first response. And which template do you think is going to be most appropriate? 
Mm. The one we use for DNI or this one? Because we do have like sample implementation, known implementations of some of these, right? Yeah. Yes, probably this makes sense a bit more. Okay. Um, Georg, do you want to create the, the Word doc? Yep, give me a second. I'm copying. Okay. The template right now. Yeah, in the meantime, I was looking for some documentation. So, and I found this. So, I'm starting here in the well, I will add after. Well, I will add this in the in the meeting minutes. So we have this panel that you can have a look where we have specific goals defined. Um, well, the goal is at the beginning, and then we have kind of the definition there. Mm -hmm. And this is working for any time related or time-based data source like uh, issues or code review processes or any kind related to process. Um, so you can aggregate things and then we, what we have there is the average and median time to close and to first response. And the goal of all of this is, well, as we indicated at the beginning, the main goal here is finding out whether we are attending tickets early and solving them in a reasonable time. Um, and then cool. a, li a live version of this, oh, sorry about that. Okay. Might be this again, kata container, for instance, that I'm adding here. Yeah. An instance, I can have this for instance. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a live example of the same. So then you have uh, mm -hmm. those green bars and yellow bars. So the green ones are basically the, the time uh, to close. The yellow ones are the time to first response. So you can see the difference and you have the time over time and so on. And then the, the coach you, you have at the bottom of this are the average time to first attention, average mm -hmm. time to close, and then median and median. And then on the top left, you have the data source where you can go for Git or Garrett or issue tracking system if there's any. Mm -hmm. I don't remember here. I first remember there's, this is only focused on, oh, no, this is GitHub. Yeah, GitHub and Garrett maybe. Well. Mm. Um, so, so my first question is, um, do we call this metric time to first response or time to first attention? I know. <laughs> Because it looks like you, uh, Viterji is calling it time to first attention. I think time to first response um, to me seems more industry standard. That's mm -hmm. what I would expect mm -hmm. more than attention. Um, but I, I don't know. Yep, first response works as well. First attention, I don't know. <laughs> Sean, if you, if you Brian, yes. Do you guys have any opinions? Do you do do you think we typically see time to first response or time to first attention? What is the difference? I there, see response. I say response because you're actively. You send me an email, Don. I've noticed it, but until I respond, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, okay. Noticing, so I don't know if you notice. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so I, I think we should say response instead of attention. Yep. Okay. I, I, I wanted notice you. <laughs> so make sure we talked about it didn't just assume um okay let's uh do we have the the doc okay time to close do we have a question for this one yet Oh, uh, okay. Are we in the time to close or in time to first response? Uh, I'm in the time to close doc. Do we have docs for both of those? Yeah, uh, Georg just created. I just one. created the second one. Okay. Um, well, let's start with time to first response since that one happens mm -hmm. first. Wow, I can't talk. 
or type response. Whoops. Sorry, we're typing over each other. Hmm. Have you thought about, do you have questions for these, Daniel? Have you defined those already at Paturgia? We have the goal, which is the main goal is if we are attending tickets early and solving them in a reasonable time. In this case, it's probably if we are attending tickets early. So the question would be how fast the community is responding to a requirement from the community. How long does it take to first response? On an activity, I'm not sure that's the right word. How long does it take to first maybe respond to, to an activity? Let's use good English. Maybe we can go for directly issue or go to the view process. So we specify where this applies. Do we have well, any other? Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, I mean, I think it would apply to any of them, right? It would apply to issues. It would apply, it would apply to, it would apply to pull requests, even yeah, but, mailing list posts. Hmm. Well, we can leave this for us in general. Yeah. I feel like that's awkwardly worded, so if anybody has a better suggestion, please, please do. I'm not entirely in love with what I've typed. Well, okay. Um... In the, let me find the Google. You shared this Google Doc, right? So. Initially respond. I was uh, thinking about the first response being an acknowledgement that it exists, so how long does it take to acknowledge a request or something? But then we have response and acknowledgement as synonymous here. Maybe that's Yeah, it. I mean, I would really kind of like to keep first response since... Can you paste the link to the document? It's in the minutes. Oh, in the minutes. That's yeah. I was looking to see if we could just copy and paste some stuff from the Paturgia doc, but that, that doc seems is very prescriptive about what, yeah. like, what a good result is, which is not what we do when we define the metrics. Oh, that's good. I like that. That's much better. Yeah. yeah. I would say, I would say, say it. <laughs> uh, I would just change this to first response. Yeah. Yeah. Only because here, let's just, let's just accept that. Cause that's way better than what I had. Change initial to first. Yeah. Yeah, just to be consistent with the title of the metric. Oh, consistency. I have to write that down. Consistency. <laughs> mm. 
And I would I would be inclined to cut the word team. Um, Project. I, I would just say when an event requiring attention is created and the first response. Because the problem is there's so many overloaded words like is it the community's first response? Is it the team? Is it someone else? Um, any word you use in there can be misinterpreted. I just print out the description as a point of discussion. Sean, I could use your help understanding this template now as we go down into use cases, forms, and so on. What sure. are the typical things that the evolution working group has been putting here? It's um, it, they've been fairly low scoped use cases, so I tend to think of use cases more broadly. Um, <clears throat> following kind of a standard use case template, which I can go put in there actually is the, let me go find the, uh, type for the fingers, Jesus. get something hold on here it's 
So one would be, um, I'll just put an example in the sheet and then uh, we're in response, not, not that one. An example would be good when we can model yeah. our use case after that. The, one, the example I have is fairly Spartan. Um, we have more substantial use cases, but this is um, like, this is just an example so you can see it from one metric volume of coding activity. And it's a description of, of what that is. Uh, there are others that follow, um, let me see here, a more detailed structure. Sorry, which one are you on? Are you talking about use cases or? Yeah. Okay. So the, the, use, the use cases that go inside of the metric are Spartan like that. We do have use cases that are fully developed um, traditional software engineering style use cases and I'll paste an example hmm. of one of those. Those are not required inside of a metric. Uh, they just, you know, it's kind of trying, you know, the use case in the context of the metric, if there's not an outside fully developed reference use case, is really been used more to, I guess, help people understand the context that somebody might use something in, um, in a very straightforward way. Sean, would you so say here's that? a fully developed use case I just pasted. But we only have a handful of those, like far fewer than we have metrics that reference use cases. So um, we have three developed use cases. And would you say, for instance, I remember right now a conversation with people uh, from certain communities and they were really interested in understanding what's going on with volunteers. And for this, they wanted to be really sure that volunteers were having kind of a special treatment. So they were right. looking for reducing the time to first response in this case. Would it be right. a use case? Yeah, I think so. I think um, somebody. Okay. So I've like an evolution, I created a community manager use case. And I think a lot of these metrics in common are gonna fall under that general community manager use case. It's somebody's managing a community and trying to understand something about it. And so the actor of a community manager or a, an open source program office manager, I think in terms of metrics consumption, I think of those two categories of jobs as being the main actors consuming hmm. these. So it's a matter of writing down. Okay, but we do we need in the use cases a scenario like uh, um, pointers or references? Or this is more. Do you mean like, to the use case to to a larger use case? Oh, not exactly. Like uh, so, I don't know. For instance, this concept, this example of the volunteers. Like we really want to be sure that volunteers are like the take care of. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we need like a link to whatever blog post where someone is defining this, or it's okay with just defining this? Yeah, um, I think it's. I think right now it's okay to just define it with a description that's helpful for people to orient themselves. To the extent that we develop more elaborate or fully developed use cases, or there are there is a blog post that actually describes the situation in greater detail. I think that's going to be helpful okay. for people. I think someone new to chaos is probably not going to digest a paragraph and understand all of it well. So sometimes we've included items like blog posts in references. Sometimes we've included academic papers in references, although there's more academic papers about the evolution metrics than there are about anything else. Um, okay. Yeah. That helps. Well, there's there are seven minutes to for the end of the meeting. I don't know if you would like to discuss about other things. Um, I I did go ahead and add um, an action item for you, Daniel, to yeah, okay. work on cleaning up the documents for these two metrics before the next meeting. Um, and then just a reminder that we are meeting again next week, and we're going to meet every week until the. Uh, feature freeze at least to work continue working on the metrics so that we can get 
something out the door from the common metrics working group in the release. Um, and then the other thing is that uh, in the next meeting, we should probably also talk about geography. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think John Murtek was working on that a bit. Um, so I'll go ahead and add that to the uh, here. Anything else that we need to talk about before the next meeting? I don't have anything that we need to specifically discuss. I had put into the use case if we can circle back there an idea for what I think a use case you could be. But let's organize next week first and then we can go back to this. Um, so I'm just going to add a note that Sean's going to run the meeting. Yes. And it's not going to be June 6th. It's going to be June. Math. 13. Thanks. Um, Math is hard. Math <laughs> is hard. That's at the end of my day, and I've literally I've just been in meetings all day, and my brain is just gone. I'm kind of the point where I'm just not functional. That's right. One more meeting to go, and then I'm done. So you uh, think? <laughs> so I think. That secret well, actually, last minute meeting. They've been. There is a secret last minute meeting. So I'm actually meet, I'm meeting up with Sahida for dinner. Hmm, good. Because she happens to be in London. Um, is there anything else we should put on the agenda for for next week? I think hammering through the metrics is kind of a big thing. Yeah. The other thing we should probably do, and I'm I'm not going to bother creating an action item because it's not it's not super time sensitive, but we should probably start creating the focus areas for the other two. So we created the focus area in the repository for organizational diversity, but we haven't done it yet for responsiveness metrics or geography. And I feel like we're almost getting to the point where we have enough of the, you know, the lists of metrics defined that we can probably start taking a crack at pull requests for those as well. So if anybody finds some extra time on their hands and wants to take a first shot at the pull request, that would be cool. Okay. Anything else or are we, are we good for the, for the day? Okay, perfect. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.